Hello everyone, I'm Leo and welcome to today's video lesson on IGCSE Physics. Yeah, yeah, I know how physics work. Makes you rage, makes you cry, makes you wonder why the people who created physics exist in the first place. But most importantly, it makes you feel and get stabbed by your mother. Despite all that, trust me, physics is actually easy. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? It's hard. But seriously, with enough practice and understanding, you'll be able to score and I'm here to help. Alright, Chapter 1 Making Measurements Before I start, I would just like to say that the materials in these notes are derived from the Cambridge IGCSE Physics course book by David Sand. Okay, so these are the learning outcomes for this chapter. But for today's lesson, we will be focusing more on measuring length and volume. Okay, measuring length. In physics, length is extremely important as it will help us to calculate certain values and determine certain variables. There are many ways to measure length. One of the most basic method is by using a meter rule, which is basically just a ruler that is a meter long. You can use it to measure a piece of block, you can use it to measure a piece of pencil, and you can use it to measure a, a carrot. Okay. okay, moving on, the precision of your measurement depends on the position of the measuring tool which is the ruler. Sometimes the measuring scale of the ruler is not accurate making our measurement less precise causing us to fail physics and get slapped by our mother. So there are a few ways to correct this issue and one of these ways is to calculate the average. So an average value is used to measure small lengths and usually it gives a more accurate measurement compared to just taking one measurement. After the formula, to calculate an average value is the sum of measurements divided by the number of measurements. So let's say we have a piece of wire and the first time we take measurement, we've got a value of 8 cm and the second time we take the measurement, we got a value of 8.1 cm. And the third time we take the measurement, we got a value of 7.9 cm. So the total measurements that we took is 3. So therefore, substituting into this formula, the sum of measurements is, so average is equals to 8 cm plus 8.1 cm plus 7.9 cm divided by the total measurements number of measurements which is 3 and you will get your answer which is which is 8 cm so this is the average value of the length of the wire next measuring volume there are two approaches in measuring volume often depending on whether the shape is regular or not for regular shapes, in this case a cuboid, we measure the volume by measuring the length of three different sides, which is the length, the width, and the height. And then we multiply them together. So as you can see from this cuboid over here, so this one is the length, this one is the width, and this one is the height. So the formula for the volume of this cuboid is the length times width times height. So let's say the length of this cuboid is 7 cm, the width is 4 cm, and the height is 3 cm. So how do we calculate the volume? So we just substitute this into the formula. Formula: The volume is equal to the, to the length times with the width times with the height. Therefore, we will get 84 cm cube as the volume of the of this cube. Okay, so for objects with other regular shapes, usually we take one or two measurements and then we substitute the values in the formula to calculate volume. For example, this cylinder, we can measure the radius, we can measure the height. That's how we obtain the values of these two variables and we substitute into the formula which is V 
is the volume is equals to pi r square h so we substitute the the radius into the r we substitute the height into the h and same goes for the sphere we can calculate the we can measure the radius and we just substitute the radius into the formula formula given here so for irregular shapes or non-regular shapes which is mostly liquids so the tool that we usually use to measure the volume of a liquid is a measuring cylinder so there are many measuring cylinders with different different scales such as 100 100 centimeter cube uh, 10 centimeter cube 5 centimeter cube depending on the amount of liquid that you want to measure so so how do we measure the volume of a liquid so when we when we put some liquid into the measuring cylinder for example in this case water the liquid will form a meniscus due to the attraction forces between the cylinder and the and the water but we will go to that another day so this meniscus is formed and the way we read the measurement is that we have to place our eye level perpendicular to the bottom of the meniscus which is the lowest point of the curve right here so where the where the curve touches that is the there is the volume of the of the liquid measure so these are just example of meniscus for for a is actually water this and most liquids the meniscus is usually curving downwards but for b there are certain liquids that that the meniscus is curving upwards such as mercury all right so the si units for length so basically they are just two units for now that we will use to measure uh, length and volume for length we will use meter which is m and volume we will use cubic meter which is meter cube so according to this table it says that one centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meter one millimeter is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 0.001 meter so these values you have to memorize for you to be able to make the conversion later on in any other question in any questions so moving on to example one a rectangular block of wood has dimensions of 240 millimeters, 20.5 centimeters, and 0 0.040 meters. Calculate its volume in cm. Okay, so the first step to this question is to know what formula that we need to use. So basically, it's a rectangular block of wood. So let's just draw this rectangular block of wood. So obviously you can see that it is a cuboid. So the volume, that, the formula that we have to use is the volume is equal to the length times width times height. So the length is 240 millimeters, the width is 20.5 centimeters and the height is 0 0.040 meters. So the first step is to convert the units into centimeters first because they want the volume is they want the volume to be given in centimeters. So now what do we have to do? The first thing we have to do is to convert the 240 millimeters into centimeters. So we all know that one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. So therefore, 240 divided by 10, you will get 24 centimeters. Now we have to convert 0 0.040 meters into centimeters. So one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. So to convert the meters to centimeters, we have to use this value 0.040 and times with 100 then you get the value of this length in centimeters which is 4 centimeters so the second step is just to calculate the volume which is to substitute all the values that we have obtained into the formula so now v is equals to 24 which is the length times 20.5 which is the width and times with the height which is 4 centimeters and you will get the answer 1968 centimeter cube all right moving on to the second example a cylinder has a radius of four centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters calculate the volume of the cylinder in meters okay first what we have to do is we have to visualize the the cylinder so let's just get the cylinder drawn and the radius is four centimeters and the height is 12 centimeters okay so the first step is to calculate the volume so why don't we want to convert the 
the the the units first it you can do that you can do that one by one you can make it your first step to convert the units first but i prefer to actually calculate the volume first then convert the unit later because it's just one conversion so the first step is to calculate the volume so according to the the formula of the cylinder v is equal to pi r square h so pi times with 4 square it is the radius times with 12 which is the height you will get 603.19 centimeter cube so the next step is to convert the unit into meter cube so according to the conversion table one meter cube is equal to 100,000 centimeter cube so how do we convert this is we take the value of the volume obtained which is 603.19 centimeter cube and we divide it by 100,000 100, you will get 0 0.000603 meter cube okay so that's all for today's video lesson don't forget to subscribe and like this video i'm leo thank you for watching and peace out